Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the Iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. I want a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the Iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, boy. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. You're offering me a pamphlet you don't have? Uh, who are you guys? Why, we're the only free people in Halcyon. Ah, so the non-corporation. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. I thought everyone works for the corporation. I know. It's quite revolutionary. We're a community this here. New no age jobs, no shifts, just people who help each other. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. I want me to do. I'm just looking for work. Uh, do you have a boss or leader or something? Oh, sure. Graham's our founder. So you he told taught me? us how to cut our own path in the wilderness. And I guess some folk have started following Zora's orders. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. Well, let me see how they sound or how they talk to me, and I'll let you know. Tell me about Graham. Why, he's our founder. Is he a Graham cracker? Graham taught us about philosophism. Through him, we came to the eternal truth. I'm glad you're asking, by the way. I hope you'll consider staying. Don't push that on me. Tell me about Zora, or whatever. She, well... She's been with us since the beginning. I think she was our sawbones back then, but now she's more like our commander. She goes and finds people in the wilderness and gets them to come here. And she keeps us from being chewed on and whatnot. She's liable to take your head off if you screw up, but then she'll sew it back on for you. Uh, that's lovely. Got it. Hey, I'm looking for Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Ross, let me put this away because that'll make you feel uncomfortable. The infamous Amber Heights. Damn philosophists. Do you meditate today? If not, you should. <laughs> if not, you should. But you don't tell me how to live my life. Problem is, I don't know when I'm outdoors. I never know if I'm actually being seen or not. It ain't right. How many good folk are we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. Are you? Hmm? Just looking for people who have a name. Carry on. Okay. <laughs> I'm looking for people who have a name. Carry on. Okay. Yeah. We felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Icon. I like your facial hair. I hope you too would like mine. I'm told, I'm told you're out of pram, pamphlets. Jesus, that's a shame. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? You know, I ask myself that every time. I'm just looking for ways to help people here. A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Yeah, I need money. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. Why? I have always dreamed of subverting the colony's periodicals and turning the board's own propaganda against them. If I could get my message directly in the hands of Byzantium citizens, I'm sure they'd recognize the truth. Will you aid us in our cause? Sure. You're not Wonderful. corporation, and apparently our I'm doing the non-corporation run. Some time ago, 
Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Hell, Wait, I don't even have bits. Where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. <laughs> like a machine. Looks like we are out a runner. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. All right, where is he? The she supplier. meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll follow the marker on my map. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. I will do my um, best, I guess. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. What? Sorry. It's what? A long day. Like, I understand you want to stick it to the man, but I think if you're going to be out here, you need some food. Food and supplies and all that nonsense. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. Do what you gotta do. I took all these fucking faction quests. I'm kidding. Got so many things. Alright, where the hell's Tucker and why'd he run away? You guys do it. <laughs> Am I invited? Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. You are not a kid. What do I call you, stranger? I knew he was going to look like he's in his 30s or something. It's Captain Clam Slam. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? You're that little boy from Stellar Bay. I am not a little boy. Haven't been one for decades. No matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me. I'd hope she'd accept my decision. Yeah. You made it seem like you were in danger and asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Bantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. Hot. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but oh, she still shit. sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I look won't good. stand for it, I tell you. Look good for 42. Look, running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you're grown up. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? I don't... Uh, teach her this. Convert her. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. They're not corporate. I just corporate. need to stand my ground and, and make I'm... her see she can't control me anymore. Yeah. No one can. I have money. <laughs> can I have some money now? Broke. I was just waiting for him to come running back in. Thief! Sucker. Alright, I'll have to go back to Stellar Bay for that one. Got the pills, so I'll have to return for that as well. Indoor stuff. Someone I gotta talk to back inside. Someone I'll have to talk to back inside. I'm just making sure anything that I gotta do outside, I'll do. 
That's for that dude inside. That's the corporation guy. This is the one that's not. And I gotta do something for that one as well. So I gotta find what's his face for Max. Go outside and go look for him. Making sure no one else has a name that oh, hello. You ever seen you before? Hey, Ash Ketchum, you've changed. I'm new here. Take my advice. Move on. Get off world if you can. If you can't, get to the bay. I've been halfway around T1. <laughs> Monarch, they call it now. Been around it twice. Stood at the hot pole and the cold. Nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. All right, just because you had a heartbreak doesn't mean what happened to you. A great many things. I'll tell you what. You want to listen to an old man ramble? Might be a job in it for you. I used to run as with the I get mercenaries here. Good folk. A fella named Lamont introduced me. Got a lot Getting of space in, in the collar. I ain't seen them in an age. Stands to reason they got themselves eight. This a long time ago? Oh, sure. I was with them when the corpse were leaving Monarch. Hell of a time, that. We split ways around the time this twice fucked moon got abandoned. Thing is, sorry if we had some, some uh, hiccups. We had uh, drop frames. We had some keepsakes of ours we kept in a lockbox. And I've been thinking about seeing it found. All right, you know what? I understand this whole thing, but uh, you want mementos? What photographs? Or... Thereabouts. Okay. All right, fine. I'll go do it. Appreciate it, kid. <laughs> I'm marking out post on your map. You spent a lot of time out there. Might be a good place to start. Gave me the key. Thank you. Take a look. I got a lot of shit to do, sir, but I will take a look. I've been broke and down on my luck. And I'm overly nice. And I'm... I could probably be ripping people off for more cash, but I have not been doing it. Because I'm trying to be a nice guy. But when I'm on the secondary, like, playthrough we do down the line, I'm going to be an asshole for the corporation. I'm taking money left and right. Being a dick. I'm not going to kill everyone in sight because I don't really do the whole kill everybody thing. Sure as hell I'm going to be an asshole. Even if I'm a persuasive asshole. Like I am still now. I'm a persuasive nice guy. A girl with a mustache. I'm just saying, if we did need to dispose of a body, if I'm gonna be a villain. I gotta have a sweet goatee. Incoming. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. Again, I don't know how you learned to shotgun someone in prison, but I don't know how you would have gotten a shotgun. Toss ball kick. <laughs> How'd that kick go? Yeah, you like that? Well, I got all these consumables. I might as well freaking eat something instead of using my health. Whatever one actually gives me health and not a bunch of bonuses that I never use. Yum. So much carbohydrates. So much carbs. I cut back on my carbs. Well, last few days have been a little rough eating wise. I gotta I gotta get back to being serious during this week. Then continue on with that. Now. 
Where do you even get the shotgun? Oh, I guess he's been to prison. He has a prison wallet. You guys better not die while taking care of him. Wow, it sounds like you are just bullying this guy. We were destined to prevail. Just a, uh, uh, uh. The hunting rifle ultra. I like there's just like a random word at the edge. It's hunting rifle ultra. I don't need that. Oh, nope, not drop. Didn't mean to do that either. Ah, oh, earrings. The vermin. Mind you. 161, 123, special knockout. Better. Usually would break these things down, but I am junking it because I'm just trying to earn a little bit of extra money. So if I ever have an emergency of needing ammo and or medicine, I could buy this shit because I'm so fucking broke. All right, we're good. A nifty little pistol, though. Fallbrook Crossroads discovered. So, Vic, what was it like in prison? Huh. I don't like to talk about it. Was it run by Spazer's choice? What part of, I don't like to talk about it, do you not understand? Is it the don't? Because it can't be the talk. I bet it was a Spacer's Choice prison. Did you taste the freedom? It baffles me why the captain puts up with your willful idiocy, Mr. Millstone. Because I don't like your attitude, Max. Trouble checking in? Or you might need directions to the amenities. If you're locked out of your cabin, a replacement key costs 50 bits. 50 bits. I'll be back in a sec. Looks like my kind of town. Here, hold on. You, uh, you're looking for Ms. Malin. On an errand for the boss lady? Oh, uh, that sounds ominous. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Malin won't like that a whit. Just point me in the direction. She's... She's not, but just down the way. A ten to one says she's either pouring drinks or skinning a sprat in the saloon. All right. Uh, word to the wise, Ms. Malin don't take kindly to interlopers. When I said sprat, I didn't mean the sort with whiskers and a tail. All right, I'll be back to you. If I don't find her, I'm coming after you. Fuck are you? Take a gander at that mug. Yeah, my mustache. So adept looking my whole life. Adept looking, huh? This guy taking a snipe at your looks? Oh now, come on. All he I just tells my what? mustache is better yeah, than his. That, uh, you don't seem like the usual pigeons we pluck. No offense, of course, if you are a Byzantium gold blood. Say, I'd like to do you a favor. Might I interest you in a surefire scheme? Wink, wink. I... Just say wink at me instead of actually winking. 
Flattery will get you everywhere. Do go on. It's no flattery when it's true. Pure and simple, it's like this. I run our drug delivery service. Recently, I had the genius idea to cut costs in half by swapping our autoloaders with faster, cheaper sprats. Fly one. That's a stroke of sheer brilliance. See? I know a fellow genius when I clap eyes on him. Too right you are. Only problem is my Sprat carriers ain't arrived from their latest run. As I was saying, you look more capable than most of the hoopleheads around these parts. What say you locate him and retrieve the goods for me? In return, I'll cut you 5% of the profit. Charm, make it 35 plus a sample of the goods and then we got a deal. Wink. Th 30... 35%? Are you... Are you out of your gourd? If I wasn't recovering from a bout of Margellans, I wouldn't stand for this. But things are what they are, so... I'll agree to it. But not half a percent more. My Sprat carrier... I winked at you at everything. Shipping tunnels. Any trail ought to start there. When you've got the goods, I'll be here. Honey, I always have the goods. <laughs> Oh, I always feel so uncomfortable talking outside my comfort zone. <laughs> it's just not how I talk. Whose house is this? I want it. I'm taking it. It's mine now. <laughs> if it is. I can just pick up stuff. It's not stealing. Nice place you got here. What are you looking at? A drunk. You seen Arthur today? Arthur Morgan? Because I was just thinking about Red Dead the other day, and I was like, you know what? I want to go back to streaming some of it from the PC version just for shits and giggles. So much to steal if I could. Get out of the homes. The insurance the you look like the chick I was talking to in the other place. Halcyon's premier provider of life and disaster related insurance. I'm obligated to inform you that our coverage does not extend to incidents deemed to result from negligence, criminal activity, or dullness of mind. Dudely noted. So, what kind of insurance package can I interest you in? We're running a special on dismemberment policies. Buy one, get one half off. I see what you did there, and that's clever. Laura, can you tell me about your insurance Plenty. policy? As my boss likes to say, there's a policy for every situation and an exclusion for every policy. We've insured unusually expressive eyebrows, outrageous statements, disastrous marriages. It's their eyebrows insured. That policy is almost exclusively for our corporate clientele. In One thing's for sure, you won't find better policy protection against sudden lunar implosions anywhere in Halcyon. Okay. Nice bot you got there. Boss upstairs. Bot really aware of what I'm doing? Shit, he knows. The bot sees all. What? You smell. And I'm just so overwhelmed. You shopping for pre-owned or new? I like pre-owned. You bloody it, you buy it. Store policy. Alright. The top dog in these parts. Town sublight owned and run. Caters to a variety of clientele. The one you want to avoid pissing off the most is Catherine. 
prove bad for her business, and she'll kneecap you without a second thought. What do you got? What are you selling, hot stuff? Auto mag pistol. Heavy weaponry. Start off shotgun. It'd be half bad. I had the bits for it, but it's not really worth buying, but I wouldn't mind having it. Hungry. What's your deal? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. I'll leave you alone. What do I look like? Uh... Very sexy. That's what I am. A very charming woman. Beautiful. Gorgeous young woman. Oh, I oh beg Jesus! Your Hello. Not see, I'm walking here. You don't look like you're walking. Physically, you mean? In my mind, I have traveled galaxies. Yeah, While perfection. It is of no consequence, I assure you. I shall embark shortly with my legs. I'm not entirely decided. If I'm being honest, I think I'd fancy a visit to Tartarus, so long as it's under the shield of my fantastical imagination. All right, carry on then. Crazy man. You don't look like your hair, nor a dandy. Catherine sends you back here. On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? Any glacial aged whiskey? No, I don't have any. Ugh. If it's only a drink you're after, the full bar's upstairs. This here's the ante up, where you place your bets. What can I bet on? Toss ball, auto loader races, card games, you name it. I ain't picky. And neither is Catherine. We'll both break your legs if you lose and shirk on paying. Hey, sorry. Oh, well, that's Catherine, but I'm not here for her yet. I gotta, like, stick to these quests one at a time. It's all over the goddamn place. I'm just trying to pick up new quests, but... Get to the others in a minute. Always imagined Falbrick would be... Cleaner? Gross. Freak of booze. This is Reginald's stuff, all right, but it looks like he's not home. Let's search the room. Try to figure out the poor. I can't believe I'm still stuck in the law forsaken town. Ah, but at least I think I may have finally uh, found a spot with promise down the tunnel on the riverbank outside of town. Produce one nugget and two teeth. I wonder if I can find a dentist who would pay something for these teeth. Sounds like Cheney's gone gold pending down on the river. Uh, I guess even scholars need to find ways to make ends meet in exile. Easy does it. Yeah, it must be rough. I mean, jeez, I run a ship and I'm broke. Gone away. Now I'll go talk to you since we have to leave and go find him. Uh huh. You blind little bird, or can you not see I'm busy? Why is it every sissy pig fucker who strolls into my town expects me to smile and shout awful friendly? Welcome to Fallbrook. Only nugget of paradise in this entire law-forsaken land. Like a void damn advert. 
crude but forthright. I admire that. Truthfully spoken, I do aim to properly represent my aforementioned nugget of paradise. Good. If by nugget of paradise you mean plate piece of manti dung, then sure. You know, I ain't heard that one before. Suppose I'll have to work harder to show you just what makes our town shine. Exactly. But first, I'll need to know what brings you, stranger. Well, I'm half listening. I'd like a room. Uh, actually, I'm the fixer for your sublight problem. Good of you to finally haul your ass over here. I wired for backup weeks ago. Got something that's going to require special extraction from Cascadia. Uh, just cut to the chase. All right, all right. One of my runners uncovered a cache of Alta Vitae gas left in a lab when the board abandoned Cascadia. To extract the gas, you'll need to siphon it from the lab in Cascadia into one of your ship's fuel tanks. Totally safe. With my mouth? <laughs> uh, I can get it done. I do like your gumption, but let's not be hasty. To get to the gas, you'll need to navigate through the town, which is overrun by marauders. Not the first time I've dealt with marauders. The They're like the easiest. The become an infested nest, crawling with mantis. You gotta fight through or figure out some other way to exterminate them. Maybe the ventilation system? Our sawbones Ellie could probably cook something up. I shall leave the details to you. Now, after you clear the manti nest and reach the storage room, all that's left is to get the gas flowing into the fuel system. The task will require someone with technical skills. Or you could force it through with a plasma overload. Don't recommend that option, though, unless you want to get dead. Oh, well, good thing. I guess we have an engineer. Dandy. Did I mention the gas is of an extremely volatile nature? Handle it with the utmost of care. But I need Ellie and what's-her-face. Once you got her goods, take to the me. Lilia's fencers ought to handle the rest of it. I've marked the coordinates for you to the lab in Cascadia. But before you make your run, I could use a heavy helping hand regarding a local issue. For a fine okay. fee, of course. Well, I do need money. I might be interested. Good. My hands aren't full this at the moment, but I'll help. matter of opportunity has been eating at me for a while now. There's a Borst factory on up the way, run by a man who calls himself the King. Clive Lundberg, insufferable prick. That aside, it's a business ripe for the plucking. I want it. Clear as that. I get the feeling this is going to involve murder and mayhem. Stars, I hope so. Clive Lundberg, the self-proclaimed Borst King of Monarch, is swimming in profit and drowning in his ego. He's making the only meal to be had this side of Monarch, and I'm tired of ponying up for my dinner. I want that Borst factory. Owner dead or alive. Well, I'll try my best to talk You're him out of it. You're the soon to be handsomely paid fucker who's gonna get it for me. She thinks I'm handsome. Like, that's not what she meant. Uh, easy as eating a whatever the fuck, a sissy pig pie. Guess you've got it figured out then. Hit him where it hurts. My ego and is there. Or his production lines on him. Say, I just want, I just kill him. Sometimes the simplest solution is the sweetest. I don't give a wit about the method or the means, just the end. Good. It'll be more than good when you're finished. Maybe not for Clive, but for me and you, I'm sure. Oh, and if you don't fancy going in guns blazing or crawling through a sewer pipe, see Duncan in the dry goods and sundry building. He ought to have an employee ID in that stash of illicit goods he keeps for select clientele. May Wait, I'll go talk to him, because I do like to be disguised and sneaky sometimes. Remind me never to get on Ms. Malin's bad side. She's I test every product myself. Yeah, yeah, no yeah. Rubbernecking. Anyway, Catherine said, said you can give me an ID cartridge. Not so fast. My biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? I think the fact that Catherine sent me makes me special enough. She needs it for a job? Well, 
Why didn't you say so? Reckoned you asked her where to best procure one, and she obligingly pointed you my way. Of course. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or... You just, I'm good, thank you. I'll, I'll be fine. A lot of shit on my plate. But let me finish this Max shit before I... Then I can get rid of him. My speech at if I lose Felix, because that's the one thing I hate is I'm going to lose Felix. If we're going to do the one with Ellie and stuff, even though I don't feel like I need Ellie, I mean, I'd be at 65. Eh. I like just having it offhand if I need it for that mission. All right, off I go. I got other shit to do. A lot of fucking things to do, but let me get through this thing so Max can get off my goddamn back. Yeah, apparently he's still inside. Out of my way! There, alright. Shove people out of the way, I gotta go! You seen Arthur today? Oh, Arthur Morgan's busy Red Dead Redemption. Leave him alone. You'd think folks were pissing in the alleyway as bad as it's Maybe I am. I saw this one episode of Terror on Monarch. House and Helen went down that waterfall in a barrel. I have so many missions. I'm like, now why do I have a storage key? West. <laughs> hate each other? Yeah. Not the greatest. I only brought Max for the companion mission, Felix, because I don't even want him really, but it's just for my persuade skill. What do you want? Your mom. Oh, hey, Vicar Max. What are you doing on Monarch? I thought scientists ain't welcome here. Haven't you heard? Everyone's welcome here. It's a fucking worker's paradise. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Never worked a day in your miserable life. You're just a parasite, living off my goodwill. Well, guess what? My goodwill's exhausted, along with my temper. <laughs> I'm not sure what's happening here, but I'm always up for senseless violence. Uh, this guy doesn't look like much scholar Max came to explain. This is the guy who told me about the book while we were in prison. I lied about finding a scholar. But I don't care about any of that anymore. I just want to inflict massive amounts of pain on this guy. Maybe he didn't know the book was in French. Oh, he knew. Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay, okay, I admit it. I was tired of your high and mighty speechifying all the time. It was just a joke, I swear. I, I didn't mean nothing by it. See, Captain? I've dealt with this swine before. I know how he thinks. Now, and he's thinking about we? pooping. Oh, that's right. I was about to beat you. Severely. Wait, wait, wait! I know who can translate the book for you. It's too late for that. I threw away my life chasing fairy tales. Will punishing you fix any of that? Of course not. But by law, it will make me feel a whole lot better. Max, stop. It's too late. It's not too late. Maybe the answers you're looking for is in that book. Okay, okay. No, that was easy. <laughs> 
It was stolen from some sort of expert on philosophism. Weird hermit lady on Scylla. My father used to deliver supplies to the mining outpost there. Weird hermit sounds kind of flimsy to me. It's true. My father collected some extra bits on the side by diverting some of the supplies to the gal. The way he told it, he thought the book looked valuable, so he took it. Couldn't find any buyers when it turned out to not only be French, but banned as well. How dare people ban French? What do you say, Vicar? Fine. Vicar. We've got more Vic. important things to do anyway. There. Are you happy now? Now I'm going to take you back to my ship. Because I'm getting rid of you. Because we have to go to another planet, and I'm busy with this planet. When I go to do that one mission, I'll take... Betty. Now, it's Felix and Ellie. Medical skill. And... Persuade skill up when I have them in my team. All right. Journal. I have so much fucking shit. <clears throat> Go back to here and then head off. Ah, jeez. Got so many things. They're just like, here's this long bucket list to start doing shit. The to-do list or whatever. So, you're, uh, you're really running around with us now, huh? <laughs> sure am. I'm a part of the crew now. I got my own bunk and everything. You know, Felix, now that you're a real pirate, I should induct you into the pirate's code of silence. Ooh, the code of silence. What's that? Poor Felix. It means you agree not to talk. For a very long time. I so sneaky. Nice. You're going down. Drop kick. He was like, I'm gonna get you. Oh. On it. Look, I'm more of a talker than a fight. Okay. He just stood there like, I give up. Apparently, can't aim even in slow motion. Now you guys handle it, don't die. God damn it, Felix, he always dies. You had one guy. There was two of you. Get up. Damn it, Felix, you're always down. This is why you're just a, a talker for me. You're not even good as a combat. Uh, and I picked up some helmets. Not that great. Junk. Junk and junk. I don't needs them. Given that armor rating and everything, he still sucks ass.
That seems lovely. Well, there goes Felix. Yeah, no shit, it won't work. Jesus Christ, I can't freaking get away. Levels is like 17. Oh, well, that explains a lot. I'll fuck my inhaler. Ah, it burns, it burns, fire's hot. box God, get these fucking phobias off of me I don't even have good perks that I want even for it the rage of weaponry sucks terrible Light ammo definitely doesn't do much. It's all for heavy ammo with these guys. Do not feed after midnight. Keep shooting and eventually he'll die. Out of my way. I got him. I can do that. The fact that Felix right. survived was nothing more than a goddamn miracle. Jeez. Burned through all my heavy. I just, in my brain, I keep forgetting the, the weapons, like, what's good for, against who. Because clearly those guys fighting them with these laser guns don't do shit. That leaves me at a disadvantage. And I only have a heavy or light, and light was doing nothing because of their armor. All this for this guy's fucking mementos. Uh, 
Now granted, I just fought into a relay area that I could not uh, get into anyway. Also, my weapons conditions are ass, and my armor is getting there as well. Right? 65. This light pistol is almost broken. I have to repair it at a bench if I want, I think, to use less materials. Go back to my home. Don't left ledger and list the names likely members of units at the outpost. Seems like Lot and Lila. Top of the list, some of the names are crossed off and added be added later, as if the person left and rejoined. Peculiar note name Ash is nowhere to be found. BJ says you bought tickets for all of us, you didn't have to do that. I owe you, I don't know, pay you back, but thank you. Don't mention that, of course, what, grab your gear and meet us there at sunup. Probably gonna be like, we don't know this guy. Of course. How have you been, Shadow? I had fun paydaying earlier with a shit ton of bodies lying on the ground. I couldn't even see the floor in one of the levels. Because there were so many bodies. Better arm. Better armor than what I got right now. And I got a top hat. A nice hat. When I need to get that speech skill up by my persuade by seven, I just look dapper as fuck. I'm actually really excited for my next playthrough when I eventually play this again after giving some time once I beat this because I'm excited to be like a complete asshole and change up my like I'm probably still going to be persuasive but change up my weapon style a little bit since this one's more based off light weaponry not light guns but like smaller guns probably be like a beefy yeah, let the bodies hit the floor I think I said that, too, when I saw all the bodies. I was just laughing, because it's so ridiculous. It was just like, you couldn't even see the ground anymore. I think, think I can just glitch up here, but I'll just take the long way around. They got the drop on it. it was fun. I had fun playing Payday, even though I didn't have anybody to play it with. I like to scratch my payday too, itch. I have like 200 hours in the game and I, I love playing it for once in a while. I guess. I assume, anyway. Don't know any other way to get over there other than that. Get over this way. Ow! My foot again! I rebroke it! Oh, here we go. Get him off me. Ah. 
Bang, bang, bang. The hell is that guy doing? He's like, you know what? I think I made a bad choice. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna back the fuck out of here. Job, yeah, Felix, you've done something. And every time I throw, I'm gonna. Every time you manage to stay, survive an entire battle, Felix, I'm gonna take you out for ice cream. It's, a, it's always a goddamn celebration that you could live. Also, in this game, we ran into cannibals. So what do you have? What did you eat for dinner? Shadow, did you eat human meat? <laughs> Look like. Oh, so handsome. Yeah, usually I'd break down a lot of that stuff, but I'm junking it because I'm just trying to earn some more bits so I can have money to eventually afford ammo and or something else I may want. Medicine. I got like 29 more of those things left. Not mean to hit that button. Add consumable. Have much I want to add to it. That then I don't care. Assuming once you just take the inhaler, you just get both of those. Vortex Mace. The remains of the bones show the telltale signs of uh, a Manasaur attack. Powerful jaws have crushed the skulls, while weather, weather against some of the fragments suggests passage through uh, the beast's digestive tract. This the dirt, you find small lockbox that matches the description. A little overburdened right now. Picked up everything. That. Down. Now I can move. I'm free. Go back and be like, here you go, take this, and I can sell the rest of my junk. Ah, crazy town. Never change. If you got in your mind that I want company, you're wrong. Nothing on this moon for nobody. All right, we went over this. I found the body. You know? tiny part a damn stupid part of me hoped he was still out there what happened damn well you find our box of memories
Yeah, the thing is, I found a list of agents in that outpost. You aren't on it. <laughs> well, ain't you clever. Fine. I was supposed to pick him up that night. Thing is, another offer came along. I'm on that. Bit more lucrative. Face looks tasty. Hot. You abandoned them? They died out there. And their payment almost died with them. Thanks to you, I can afford another round. Cheers, hero. Look, I like your gumption. I was gonna share the bits, but here's a couple extra. How are you doing, G-Man? Now go on. Leave an old man to his past. Yeah, you fucking asshole. Kept those bits. Level up! Be to 40, just in case I don't have Ellie. My handguns to 40 and shit like that because of my goddamn permanent concussion. That stuff as well. Fantastic. That's good. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Every time I think of, I just think of Dead Rising. Because of uh, Frank West on certain photos, he'd just be like, fantastic in the first one. We still got to play the first Dead Rising sometime and then get super pissed off at the AI because it's awful. The v Dead Rising's first AI is shit. Welcome to the import. <clears throat> I'm Clam Slam. You run the store out here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster and a chef and a handyman and... Oh, so you're Chef Borardi. Just here to trade, giving you all my junk. Because G-Man was finally able to give the gift of the gods, his semen, to the world. I need anything right now? Don't deal with Clive. Why Barker? I've been given that for a while. Hey, Ellie, you want to know what I think? I think they ought to make a serial about our crew. Only we'd have all these secret messages in every episode, see? What happened to the Code of Silence, Felix? <laughs> hey, why does it always... What is your obsession with Chef Barani? Just a, sl a slow tear going down right, my please? eye. <laughs> Nothing. Let's just say you remind me of someone. I bet they were real pretty. Look, you know, it's only because of King to Cut Deliverance that that even sparked it. And now I just like to make fun of any chef, like, not make fun of, but every chef I meet is just Chef Maradi now. Even if they're not wearing full on white attire. You can't blame me, my character's got a. Fucking permanent concussion. He can't think, or she can't think straight. So he's a five star chef, more RD. <laughs> Not bad, huh? Be honest, when I've seen what the how the being a cook is, like after taking culinary class, I'm not exactly surprised. Can we do that again? 
Again, we're gonna have to take Felix out for ice cream. He survived. A goddamn miracle he didn't die. But these guys are usually pretty okay to handle. To <laughs> say... My response to Shadow is my only retort is just, well, why aren't you obsessed with him? <laughs> like, well, many reasons. I'll go into, I'll write you an essay why I'm not obsessed with him. Yep, I'm the new, the new line ship. Yes, I am. Don't tell me you lost your key card already. A lost card's worth two infractions, you know. How much for a card and no infractions? Depends on what you got. But I reckon we can work something out. How about a date? Actually, I haven't been issued one. It's my first day on the job. You know, I think I did hear something about that. Are you oh, hot okay. under that? Oh, so this is what we dress like, huh? Your uniform has been rated 82% clean. Just have to walk on by. See, I could be guns blazing, but look at me not be guns blazing right now. Because I'm a persuade machine. Now it's not guns blazing because we don't have uh they they now know wait hold on. Okay, now we're good. I don't know what's worse. The taste of horse and beans or the stench that comes later. Oh, it's the stench, brother. His first day on the job and all, you know, it's crazy. Ran out of power. We just walk away. No one has to talk to us. No one has to question us because of our power being out until... No. However it works. It's like they're going to question us and it gets harder to get through the questioning. So I might as well... Try to be a little bit sneaky until necessary to talk to someone. I wonder if just putting on the outfit would work. this would do. I have an important announcement. Huh? What's going on? The king would like to invite you for dinner. Like I don't know what that means. Not only no, but void no. I quit. And he can keep my final paycheck. Ha! Ah. Suck on that, it means you lose an employee. Sealed. How do I get to Clive? 
God damn it, Clive Barker, why are you so far away? It's like, that's not my name. System up. Searching for a crime alert. Oh. Coming, Clive. Their mistake. Damn it, they know. It's fine, the jig's up. How do I get to you, asshole? Ah! Ah, my ankle! I always break my ankle, over and over. It's funny, because we were right there, too. Oh, well. <clears throat> Liver, are you gonna fight me, or can we talk to Mano to Mano here? Well, I'd like to talk to you, but apparently we're dealing with something. And my friends are still dead. So I'll be right back, Clive. God damn it. If you want something done, you gotta do it yourself. Are okay, you guys alive? Are we good now? Good. See, look, and now we're back to being in disguise. The fuck is this? The plasma launcher. Energy. Oh, God. The big gun, though, and I don't use heavy weapons. But. I really might make use of this. I like how they're wearing the same exact armor, by the way. <laughs> Only and Felix wear the same fucking armor. Whoa, now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. You got blood on your shirt right there. No lower. Certain things require a mess. To do well. He spilled See, ravioli out of himself. Sometimes. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Is this another cannibal? And bloody worst worst. Oh, okay. I do own a factory known for specializing in the canning of worst worst. On occasion, I like to imbibe other parts of the sisty pig. Oh. Did you fancy me a cannibal? Perish the thought. No, I don't eat the bodies. I disappear. A joke, that last was. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. I kind of liked it when his attention was elsewhere. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward. You're ballsy for someone who's going to get lose patience against three people. You know what? I've had enough with cannibals for one day. Don't take this personally. Even if we work something out, I don't really like your style. Cannibals or crazy cannibal like people. The other person might be a bitch, but I'd rather take a bitch over that guy.
Look at you. You're looking fancy now. Anything else in here worth stealing? Oh, good. Special. I always want his special horse. Fuck did I, I guess that's just another way to get in. I climbed up here. Oh, sadly, I do not have engineering. Oh, she's already here. Is this the quick way out? Oh, this is just the fast way out. Good. I was about to run through all the people just to find my way out of here. Well, that went well. <laughs> 